Hello and welcome to a new trip report here on Bongo Plains where we are in Lisbon today. We are right now heading in towards Terminal 1 here at Lisbon Airport. Um, we will be flying with Swiss International Airlines on an Airbus A220-300 today on flight LX2093 from Lisbon to Geneva. We are in very good time for our flight today, but that's a good thing because that leaves us time to go explore the airport a little bit. We also still need to check in our luggage, which will be the first thing we will do now, and I can grab something to eat for lunch. It is very crowded here at the check-in area today, so it's a good thing that I can skip the queue and go straight to business class check-in. So we've made our way successfully through security today. There was also quite a long queue there, but the queue was at least constantly moving, so it actually didn't take that long. The staff there, I don't think they really cared. You didn't really have to take out any electronics. They weren't particularly rude, but they also weren't friendly. I think they just didn't really care about their job. But I don't mind as long as I get through without being hassled too much. Now, this airport is incredible when it comes to the amount of shops. I always thought that Copenhagen was overfilled with shops, that it was basically one big shopping center with an airport attached. But Lisbon Airport beats that with a mile. It is incredible how many shops they have managed to put inside this airport. You don't believe me? Well, let's do a little bit of window shopping. According to the screens here at the airport, our gate won't be announced before 14.25 in the afternoon. And as it is barely one o'clock yet, I have plenty of time to grab something to eat. Finally, after having waited quite some time, our gate has been announced and it is S14 Sierra 14. Our scheduled boarding time today is 14.55 and our scheduled departure time is 15.25. So I'm on my way now over to the gate where there's hopefully a plane waiting for us. So 
So, I've just figured out that our gate has been changed. It is now S13 instead of S14, which is not a huge problem because it's just about one minute's walk away. But it is a problem when this change is not being announced at the gate. In fact, I only noticed it because um, a bunch of people started leaving. So I asked at the gate what's going on and they told me it's a new gate. That's not very good. You have to announce that in the PA announcements. Welcome on board flight LX2093 from Lisbon to Geneva. Boarding today went quite smoothly, although it was a bit strange that the ground staff preferred to literally shout into the terminal that priority boarding would start instead of using the PA system, which they then used for the boarding for everybody else. But okay, if they prefer to do it like that, it's just not very professional. We were then subsequently driven to the aircraft by bus um, where we have now boarded the aircraft I am in C7F and enjoying the view out. The weather here in Lisbon is a lovely 32 degrees Celsius with clear blue sky. Our flight time today has been estimated at 2 hours and 15 minutes. The comfort on board this A220 is really nice. You have a little screen just above your head where you can get, um, for example, flight information and stuff like that, depending on the island, of course. The seats are also very nice. They're very comfortable. And if you sit in the front end of the aircraft on the A220, you have more leg space. So if you are booking your tickets and you can choose your seat, try to get as far in the front as you possibly can basically in front of the wings and you will have extra leg space with Swiss International Airlines. Now it looks like we will be leaving here from Lisbon on time which of course is very nice and a little bit unusual in 2018 where pretty much every flight these days has been delayed so that's something to appreciate and with that I can't wait to make my way back to Geneva.
as we are slowly closing in towards Geneva and still enjoying the view over the Swiss and French Alps, I would like to talk a little bit about our flight so far. The cabin crew has been friendly and welcoming and the service on board has also been great. We were given a little basket with a snack and a bottle of water. The bottle of water was much appreciated as the air on board an aircraft is always a little bit dry. The snack however was very disappointing. It was some kind of bread with some relish but it was so dry and boring that I never even finished it. I took one bite and that was it so that was quite disappointing. But other than the very boring snack, the flight has been very enjoyable so far. Um, not a lot of action, but that's very good. It means the flight has been relaxing and I have simply just been able to sit here, look out the window and enjoy the view. So with that, welcome to Geneva, where we now complete another flight in the year 2018. It has been a very busy year for me. I don't think I've ever had a year where I've been flying so much as I've done this year. And some of the trips, as you have seen throughout the year, I have also been filming for you guys. Now, I have enjoyed this trip very much and I hope you have too. If you have so, then do feel free to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. With that, you show your support, not just for this video, but of course the series and the channel. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And you won't miss out any future videos here on the channel. Now, it looks like we will have a remote stand and that will, of course, mean we will be brought to the terminal by bus. So I will leave you with these images. And with that, say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye. for a casket though i probably never sell amounts massive i will always try to give you something classic and that's real even if i'm dead broke and i'll always be the first to the end so i do what i can and i'll take what they're giving me and try to make a buck in this land of liberty don't let me get carried away so i don't get carried away to be buried and lay in the dirt and for what it's worth i try to put everybody that i love first don't let me get carried away so i don't get carried away